This video will cover the Standard View Creation dialog box. The Standard View Creation dialog box provides many options for selecting and displaying 2D views of parts, sheet metal parts, or assemblies. Here's a look at some of the options available in the dialog box. Any Olibre file that is currently open will be in the design drop down list. The Browse button provides a way to locate part or assembly files you may wish to detail on a new or existing sheet. If the part or assembly has configurations other than the one you want to make a 2D drawing of, these other configurations can be selected from the Configuration drop down list. If an assembly has exploded views saved in it, they can be accessed for placement in the drawing through this drop down. To find the view that you want to use as the front view in the drawing, you can use the arrow buttons to reorient the view in the preview window. You can click the Workspace Orientation button to select from default and custom views created in the design's workspace. This is extremely valuable for imported parts and parts that need special views to display particular details. In the View Selections area, select the views that you want to insert into the drawing. The default views are Front, Top, and Right. To add or remove a view, click the View's corresponding button. The default value for the View Scale is automatically computed by Libre Design so that the new views fit cleanly onto the sheet. As an alternative, you may override this value by entering an explicit value or by choosing to use the Sheet Scale. It is important to realize that only the views are being scaled, not the actual parts or dimensions. More options. Here you can define the types of things you would like to include in the new drawing. Click Fast Views if you have a large assembly that takes a long time to load when this setting is off. Click Design Dimensions if you would like a Libre Design to automatically include dimensions in your new drawing that you set during the part creation. Since these are the actual part dimensions, referred to as driving dimensions, Editing these dimensions will also change the 3D model, as well as other views in the 2D drawing. This option will not be available for assemblies and flattened sheet metal files. Project as Flat Pattern is only available for use with sheet metal parts. This option will flatten the sheet metal file so all of the flanges are straight. If this option is selected, the Include Design Dimensions option will not be accessible. Click OK to create the views. Click on the drawing sheet to place the front view. The other views will be placed accordingly. After the views have been placed on the sheet, the other standard views in place editing control is available from the front view so you can add standard views that have not yet been placed in the 2D drawing. Once the additional views have been selected, click the Create Views button and the newly selected views will be placed on the sheet. After initially placing the views, the view positions can be dragged around the sheet. You may also insert additional views. Note that moving any of the standard views will keep them aligned with the front view. This video covered the Standard View Creation dialog box. The Standard View Creation dialog box provides many options for selecting and displaying 2D views of parts, sheet metal parts, or assemblies.